I would say that there are some aspects which are still poorly understood in, in INKT immunotherapy. So the first is uh, the persistence of allogenic INKT and therefore uh, their durable therapeutic effects. Uh, I think that the next study should be focused on testing different strategies to uh, prolong persistence in recipients. So far, current trials in humans demonstrated persistence no longer than two weeks. Similar results have been achieved in mice, and current strategies are based on a very conventional approach, which is using very intense chemotherapy before uh, the infusion of INKTs to eliminate the recipient immune cells that could be potentially responsible for rejection. Whereas I think that our work provide for, provides foundation for another strategy. Uh, which is a strategy based on preserving as much as possible the recipient immune cells to enable this interaction with, with regulatory cells as well, which is important to establish allotolerance, meaning also to promote the anti-rejection effects. Uh, towards INKT. So having strategies that instead of eliminating the endogenous INKT, uh, sorry, the endogenous immune cells, preserve the endogenous, the recipient immune cells, would be ideal to understand what's the best clinical protocol to use in patients. Another important point that uh, is important to understand is how much is important to preserve physical persistence of INKT and how much is relevant instead the immune effect mediated by the recipient immune cells. So is physical persistence versus immune mediated effect by the recipient. We need to understand clinical relevance of these two aspects, which is important to determine the best clinical protocols in future. And the final aspect perhaps we should focus in future also is the reproducibility of clinical outcomes, which is also an important aspect in general in uh, T cell based immunotherapies, where we see fantastic results in some patients, but other patients never receive remissions. So I guess that a point would be to define biomarkers of functions and strategy to screen uh, the best donors and therefore manufacture cells to, from the best donors that may allow uh, for reproducible and the best clinical outcomes in patients regardless, regardless of their uh, clinical, uh, the, the course, the clinical course of their disease. I think that if we can increase the awareness of the canine model as a, as a model also to inform clinical trials, we, we could encourage this collaboration between veterinarians and human clinicians to implement more potent uh, immunotherapies faster. And there could be a benefit for both canine cancer patients as well as human cancer patients.